Guys, we're in the final, final three days, or final three episodes. So I figured why not start off with an almost brand new video, or brand new movie that came out today, called Paranormal Activity, Next of Kin. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I completely forgot they continued making these movies. Uh, they, in fact, have made two more since the last one I watched, which was, I think it was three or four. Hold on one moment. There's Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, Paranormal Activity 3, Paranormal Activity 4, which was the last one I originally watched. Then there's Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, and Paranormal Activity, Ghost Dimensions. Let's talk about the plot of Next of Kin. Margot, a young woman who has recently discovered that she was abandoned by a member of an Amish community, has chosen to return to it with a boyfriend, sound guy, and a camera to make a documentary about her past. Who is her mother? Why did she leave? Why are the people who knew her mom so scared to talk about her? These are all questions that she wishes to know the answers to. That was somebody's article to try to give a quick plot of it, but I'll describe it this way. Pretty much the same way they did. They, uh, she meets a guy supposedly on Ancestry, or he was on Rumspringer, or something along those lines, and he uh, lets her know that she knows her, he knows her family. She never knew either her mother or her father. And she goes to visit an Amish community for, I believe it shows, for about a week with her boyfriend, I suppose. They don't really, really touch on that too, too much. Uh, a cameraman, I'm sorry, a boyfriend, a sound guy, and an Amish guy who led them there. Uh, the family seems to be very thankful that she brought their son back to her, to them, Jesus to them so they allow them to continue filming even though most Amish communities don't allow any such amount of uh, technology to be shown or used or anything along those lines I do believe they do a really good job later on in the film but the beginning parts of it are very 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 slow uh, not a lot of there's a lot of not, not a lot of paranormal things that we're used to seeing. In fact, this movie is nothing like any of the uh, any of the other paranormal activity movies. I can't speak for Ghost Dimension or the Marked Ones yet. I might go back and watch them, but as of now, this is nothing like any of the other paranormal paranormal activity movies I've ever seen. It came off not even it's supposed to be a found flick, but some time how they used the camera was not found flicky and it seems like sometimes that they didn't use it they didn't use the camera's vision to film the movie so in, in order to make it a found flick type movie you have to continuously use only options like that and they kind of slipped up there for me so that will it will be marked down for that because i'm a major found flick fanatic so i just really and if you if you make a law your movie has to stand behind to in order to keep its title you should still you should follow those rules long story short if you can skip to the final i don't know 30 ish minutes of the movie you'll have a really really good scary time on your hands but you won't really know necessarily what's going on so maybe give it like the 45 because it's an hour 40 movie it's an hour 38 minutes but it definitely needed a better pacing because the final 30 is like like adrenaline pumped insane bloom production like it's knocked out of the park directed by william eubank like it's 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 everything you want it to be but that's just the, the last 30 the beginning part is detrimentally slow like it is painful uh the plot itself i'm giving the plot probably about a five the plot's really slow the plot's kind of basic some of the characters are very one note you don't really get much of the characters in this found flick so you don't really get to figure out who you like or dislike because they're all kind of just basic they don't really talk they don't really talk about anything other than what's happening right now it's there's they give you no background on the characters for you to care about them so that's a problem threat is i it slowly becomes the amish family that they're staying with because there's a lot of creepy things that keep that keep happening uh i think they did a good job with what they were doing with it but once again that that slow start was really really painful for it i think there was a good i think it was a good threat i think you have a six uh, maybe a seven for the threat 
uh, there were some really good scares in it, but unfortunately, once again, you have to wait for the final 30. That's the final time I'm bringing it up, but they had really good scares in it. Like, it could have easily broken the eights in the scares, but that first half was really painfully slow. So I'm giving it a seven in scares, but there are some genuinely good scares in it that will, like, jump you pretty, pretty bad. Um, is it newbie approved yes i suppose i don't think there's a ton of language i don't think there's um not a ton of language and there's not uh, anything too well to god um there is a scene that's kind of gory but it's the only thing that really touches on it uh someone's cutting potatoes and they don't stop it's that type of film i think the overall score for this movie doke Dog. I think that overall some of this film can be summarized in if it was faster it'd be better or if it was just an hour an hour 20 it would have been a knockout but unfortunately we have to take the entire film into uh, into thought here so I'll be giving it a six flat like I enjoyed it it was a decent film the pacing was just awful Pacing was just awful. Six flat for uh, Paranormal Activity, next of kin. I'll catch you guys on day 30, and then we're one day off from Halloween. See ya.